The western hemlock looper moth may be related to butterflies, but don't let its beauty fool you. So we're seeing some significant reddening uh, as the trees are defoliated. Red is a sign the trees are dying, and the looper moth is the reason why. This is certainly a significant outbreak, and in its current state, from what I understand, uh, on a provincial scale, um, the North Shore here is one of the higher intensity locations. The looper is native to BC, but every couple of decades, its numbers explode. Oh, there might be fewer predators, um, fewer parasitoids, or a drop in the virus load um, that naturally is there that keeps the populations in check. When that happens, loopers literally take a bite out of forests. The damage is done during the larva stage in June and July by the caterpillars. And they're going to start feeding on the needles of a range of conifers and other plants and shrubs. So far, just over 2,000 hectares of coastal forest has been decimated. The looper moth is the most destructive defoliator in the province, but it's not unique to BC. Over the years, it's destroyed millions of hectares of forest across the country. And while it prefers mature hemlocks, it will munch on cedar and fir as well. The outbreak has hit Metro Vancouver watersheds, the Sunshine Coast and the interior. The province is mapping its severity and impact. In the past, BC has managed to weather looper outbreaks, but rising global temperatures could be a complicating factor. If the moths are doing better as a consequence of a warming environment and killing more trees, then of course the forest is not prepared to replace itself as quickly if more trees than normal are killed. And so we could have a delay in recovery um, if indeed there is an impact of climate change. Moss, of course, don't just stay in the forest. Neighbourhoods are full of them. Where the residential areas uh, meet an interface with the forest, you're going to see the same type of activity that we're seeing right here in the forest. So a lot of moths being present in the residential areas as well as some tree mortality. Expect the moths to fly around until at least the end of the month. Bell Puri, CBC News, North Vancouver.